Are you looking for the safest place to stay as a traveling digital nomad? If you are, then listen up because I'm gonna tell you all about why Dubai is the safest place for us to be right now. So for those of you that don't know, Dubai handled the crisis and the pandemic really, really well. They have very, very strict rules around going out and when they were in self-isolation, you could not go out more than one person at a time without showing a certificate. And as a result, the way they handled it, they have got very low rates of infection. However, that is not the only reason why I think that Dubai is the number one place to be right now. So first of all, they have amazing hospitals first class healthcare and if you're going to be anywhere where a global pandemic comes you for sure want to be in a country that can treat you if you do get ill and if you get the right health insurance and travel cover it means that you're going to have first class healthcare whenever you need it. The second reason that I really do think that you're in a safe place if you go to Dubai is that when people are traveling right now they are going to the doctor getting a blood test or a swab test to clarify that they don't have COVID and then they're traveling and that will allow them to get into the country that they're going to because they can prove that they don't have the virus. However, Dubai have taken an extra layer of protection on this plan so when you arrive in Dubai they will take your doctor's certificate, they will look to see that it's valid and then on top of it they will carry out their own test to make sure that from the time that you had the test versus today that you don't have the virus and then on top of that of course if some people have made up their certificate it rules out all of the fraudulent side of it as well so they're really really super strict on getting in the country which means that they're protecting it really really well the third reason is that the prices have gone down if you are booking through a hotel you will probably see that prices don't look like they've, they've changed very much however when I was living in Dubai we were paying for a one bed flat around three thousand pounds a month which of course on an English wage or a European wage feels like too much money however right now if you go on Airbnb I'm seeing really nice apartments in the best part of Dubai Jumeirah Beach residence which is right on the beach in the touristy area for 12 to 1800 pounds a month including all of your bills and everything so if you think about it that is a really good deal if you were going to go to a hotspot like Tulum in Mexico which is where a lot of other name ads are going at the moment you're going to pay about 900 pounds a month for a luxury villa when you compare it sure you can get more room but if you look at your surroundings you're putting yourself in a safer place and it's really not costing that much more the next thing that you can do is get the entertainer app on your phone so it costs around 50 pounds to get but once you have it you can eat out for 50 percent off in loads and loads of restaurants and bars which means as a nomad you can travel around enjoy it all at a real fraction of the cost and the fifth reason, of course, is that they have amazing Wi-Fi everywhere, literally wherever you go. If you're in the malls, the restaurants, even on the beach, they have Wi-Fi so you can just work. And no joke, I've been on my sun lounger in Bali with my laptop when the sun is setting, just doing my work and thinking, oh my God, I can't believe this is my life. And I highly recommend that you guys try it because it's really liberating and it's cool. And then of course, this is the sixth reason, which is when you're a nomad, part of the journey is meeting people and settling and finding friends that are new friends and they're like travel friends. And when you're in Dubai, it's full of expats. You All you have to do is go to a gym class and you've made a best friend for life, literally. So one of the reasons that I love being there is that you can just go to any class, you can meet a group of people, and then you've got people to hang out with pretty much from the moment you decide to do that. And number seven and eight, I'm kind of linking them together, is of course it's sunny. So I'm British. I had to leave Bali so that I could go on lockdown in Cornwall at my parents' house, which was beautiful in the summer, but winter's coming and I just don't want to be stuck in a cold country during winter. So I'm determined that I'm going to be traveling once again. And Dubai is sunny, but you know, in the winter, it's only sort of 27 to 30 degrees. So honestly, it's not too hot. And the, the pro of that is that you're then going out and you're getting vitamin D in your skin, which of course has been well publicized by all the doctors because vitamin D is 
very good for preventing you from getting COVID. So it's a win-win. <laughs> and that does roll on very, very nicely into point nine, which is about aircon. Now, of course, it's very easy to spread a virus when you're all breathing through the same aircon unit. And yes, Dubai is full of aircon and flats and malls and restaurants all with aircon on however when it's winter you don't need the aircon on and um something if you do get too hot that i sometimes do you can buy a plug-in fan from the local supermarket and then just use a fan in the building and then you're, you're not breathing in and circulating air conditioning air and number 10 your visa lasts for 30 days so you really don't need to move around that much which makes it super safe so you can go there do your 30 days book a short weekend trip come back to the country and your 30 days will start up again which makes it ideal for nomadic life and then on top of that you need to remember that you'll be outside doing outdoor activities which is better for you because you're outside and you're not indoors breathing other people's air in so if you are a digital nomad and you're thinking where am i going to go right now i highly recommend dubai i've been on a lot of forums and looking at where i should be going because i was thinking right i've got to be moving on now winter's coming and i love the idea of tulum in mexico but let's just be honest mexico at the moment haven't handled the pandemic very well so i'm not 100 sure that i would feel safe there it's also not got the facility facilities that Dubai has got if something was to happen and you just don't know at this stage what's going on. So I highly recommend it. If you aren't a nomad and you're thinking of becoming a nomad then you're definitely in the right place because I teach people how to create an online business that earns their money passively on autopilot while they sleep by creating an online course. Go to the link in the description and get the free toolkit or join me on the 21 day course launch challenge or if you're not ready for that just subscribe to my YouTube channel and just stay up to date with everything that I'm doing until you're ready to take part.